All right, for today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a dormer. And we are going to be um, basically mirroring what we have over here and putting another dormer on this side. So let's go ahead and start. So for this one, our roof is on level three. So I'm going to go over there so we can be able to re so we can be able to do these the roof the same way. So first I'm gonna click on this wall and mirror it. That'll be the front wall of our dormer. And you can see it shows up here. It's got the window in it as well. And then I need to create the, yep, we're gonna save the project, create the walls that it will be the side of our dormer. And later we'll change um, how long they are based exactly on how long the dormer will be. But for now that will do. And then we're going to make sure that these are going to show up above our roof. Let's see, they've got top constraint and connected. It's going to show up 20 feet above. So that's perfect. So now we can see those walls sticking up right here. And before I do anything, it looks a little bit sloppy here. There's not a line separating the wall from the roof. So we're just going to go over to the modify tab and click join. Click the wall the roof, click the wall, click the roof, click the wall. We'll rotate over, click the roof, click the wall. That just makes it a lot easier to see what exactly we have going on here. So next part of creating a dormer is we need to create the roof that will go on top of this. So let's go ahead onto my roof level here. And we're gonna go architecture, roof, and right now my two overhang is two feet. We'll just keep that since that's what I have over on my other dormer. And we'll create the, those lines of the roof by clicking the walls. And then this other one we're gonna have to draw in. So we'll just connect those two lines. Awesome, and then we want the slope to be on these edges. So we'll go ahead and collect this to say that it does not define the slope. And then these are set to 912 roof, which is exactly what we have over here. So we're gonna to continue to keep that. So then go ahead and click the green, green arrow and we would like the attached walls to go up to the roof. Cannot cut instance of the wall. Let's see what that is talking about. Ah, I see our roof is hanging out really low down. So we're gonna take this, let's see our other roof here has an offset of seven feet from the roof datum. So we're gonna go ahead and make that same thing happen here. Just type in seven feet. There we go. Looks a lot better. It's the same height as the other one. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure these walls are connected to the roof so that they don't stick out above it. So we will do that by selecting our walls. And then up here, attach to base, we will click and then click on the roof. And then now our walls are in the right spot. Okay, next what we need to do is we wanna make the roof extend all the way to our main roof, like this one is right here. And to do that, we're going to come over here to the modify tab. And right here it has join and unjoin roof. So we're just gonna click on the edge of this roof and then the face of the other roof and that will extend over and it looks perfect. Now what we need to do is make it so that there's an opening inside of our roof for the light from this window to actually get somewhere so it's not just shining in onto the other roof. You can see the roof down in here. And for a better view of that, let's go ahead and hide these walls. And you see you got the opening here, and then over there on that side, there's not an opening in the roof. Um, it's just right on the roof there. So in order to do that, we are going to come over here to modify. Actually, we're gonna come over here to the structure tab Go ahead and click on structure. And then we're gonna click on the dormer button here. Now what we need to do is we're gonna select the face that we want to cut into. So we'll select the roof. 
And now I need to select the different walls that we need to have cut and the roof. So we'll select this roof and we'll draw those lines for us. And then next we are going to come over to our level three and we're going to select the inside faces of these walls and then trim the edges right here like that. Perfect. Now we'll click select and when we come into our 3D view, you'll see we have an opening. Now there's one last problem that we have with this and that's that these walls are extending way down where we don't want them to be. So I'm going to come over here to level three to fix that and we're going to create a section view. So we'll go ahead and do it like that and then double click on the end here to open up that section view. Now we'll simply just select the wall, go over here to edit profile. It's going to say it's going to touch it. That's okay. Go to the select line and click on this one. Escape and we'll trim it. And then make sure that you get rid of this small piece of the wall down here because it will throw it off. Revit won't like that very much. And then go ahead and click that. And then we're going to click the wall in the back and do the exact same thing. Go ahead and click cancel, draw the line, and trim those bad boys. Get rid of this one on the bottom. Click the green OK button. And now you have some perfectly nice dormers. Hope this video was helpful to you and have an enjoyable day.